Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Here it we are. 9 30. 9 30? Yeah, 9 30 a.m. We just uh, came into Seattle, Washington. And we're here for lunch. Yes, uh, we've been on this weird mood ever since uh, last week at San Diego, Little mm -hmm. Italy. Pasta for some, mood. Yeah, for some handmade pasta. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess all the rave here in Seattle is right behind us. It's called El, El Norvo. El Corvo. Oh, Cor Corvo. Norvo. El Corvo <laughs> yeah, pasta. Yeah, yeah El Corvo uh, pasta. Handmade pasta. There's only three dishes. And each of them are ten bucks each. Yeah, nine ninety five, and it's like a rotating menu of mm -hmm. three of three different pasta. So dishes. it opens at eleven. We're gonna get some coffee first. Mm -hmm. and then we're yeah, gonna come back apparently, and yeah, apparently there's a line, so we have to come yeah. here a little bit early. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. Found a cool little coffee place. At Convoy Coffee. It's on the corner of Washington and Second. Really close to the pasta place, but it, we're early, so we're yes, gonna have some yes. coffee. Let's check it out. Got my latte at Convoy Coffee. They did my little art yeah, on it. Cool. Yeah, saw that. Let's try this latte out. Nice and foamy. It's a little bit bitter. Need a little sugar. Well, you, you got some sugar though. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's good. I got the regular um, house coffee. Nice and smooth. It's so regular cream and sugar. That was a cool uh, coffee spot. Yeah, it uh, was. Yeah, it was They're fun. Relaxing. Yeah, it was fun going to like a uh, local, you know, coffee places. Mm -hmm. We found the Starbucks, but of course Starbucks is really local for Seattle, but. <laughs> It's kind of too commercial, so we found a little small one, which is yeah, perfect. Yeah, so the time is 10.20. We are like number one in line over yes. here. Yes. So we just wait our turn. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, we only bought a one we didn't buy. But we only, we only reserved <coughs> Sorry. a one-way ticket here to Seattle. So we don't know where we're going to go next or if we're going to stay overnight or whatever. We'll see. We're going to play by play by ear. Wherever the wind blows. It's blowing that way, babe. Okay, this is what we have in the front here. We have the paparel with meat sauce, which is the bolognese. Numa ache, I'm looking at the board. Numa ache, ache. Corn, cherry, tomatoes, and then the squid ink spaghetti. That's a squid ink. That's going to be interesting, huh? Be interesting. Yeah. Okay, let's go for this one here. Oh, it's hot. Perfect cooked pasta. Definitely a al dente. This meat sauce has a little zest to it. And the cheese on top. Again, this is the lumache, I think you pronounce it. Don't forget, all these pastas are handmade pastas. And this is their specials for the day. They change pretty much every day. Wow. The pasta, if it's possible, has a little bit of a snap to it. It's not mushy. It has a little bit of chew to it. Yeah. It's like a tomato. The sauce is very light. Oh, it's got some corn? Mm hmm Corn in it? Really? The sauce is very light. It's really good. And again, these plates are all $9.95. Perfect. Freshly made bread with the dipping sauce of olive oil. Dip this in here. Wow. The bread, nice and fresh. They're very soft. Um, olive oil is a perfect dip for this. Mm -hmm. This is squidding spaghetti. I've never had squidding yeah, spaghetti before. Spaghetti. Yeah. Let's try this out. 
nice and hot. Oh, is it? Good tasting. Tastes like... Tastes like seaweed. It's kind of interesting. Uh, tastes like spicy seaweed. No meat. Nope. Yep, spicy seaweed. It's good. My turn for the squid ink here. Right. It's like a little seaweed-ish. A little bit of um, a little salt, huh? On it. And it definitely has a little spicy kick for sure. That took us like 30 minutes. Yeah. And we're out and, and we're, still a mad line. Yeah. Right there. The line goes very fast. There's always a line here, but it goes really fast. People just go in, they serve your food right away. Mm. And then you sit down and eat and you're out. Yeah. Super easy. My, Again, my favorite was the uh, the one with the meat sauce. Yep. Mine was the one with the corn. So mm. mine was called Luma. I think it's Ache. I don't know. It's spelled Luma Ache, but I don't know how you pronounce it. <laughs> and his was like a, a paparel, so it was perfect. It was. Spinning was interesting. It, it did was have, interesting. The seaweed I was smelling was the nori that was in there. So that's where it came from. And it was good, though. It yeah, I'm, I'm glad I tried it because we never really had squid ink before, No, my right? mouth is still kind of burning. Yeah, so yeah, it, de it definitely had a yeah. kick to it. Yeah. So, so, what are we going to do next, baby? Uh, we're going to look for some dessert or something. Mm -hmm. We're going to walk around. See whether or not we spend a night here or maybe fly somewhere else. We'll it's still early. It's, it's still early. early, yeah. It's only like oh, 11.30. We just met a viewer inside. Oh, yeah. He said <laughs> that he watched us. It kind of caught me off guard like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, uh, if you're you watching this, thank you. Thank uh -huh. you for stopping. Say hi. And if you see us, anybody see us, just say hi. Sure. We're friendly people. Yeah. <laughs> Where are we, babe? We are in Bainbridge. So we took the ferry ride out. What was it? Maybe about 45 minutes? Yeah, about 35. Yeah, 30 to 45 minutes. It was, again, only 8.50 round trip to get here. Mm -hmm. Small little downtown we're walking through. It has stores. A lot of wineries here. Like wine, definitely. Yeah, the last time we were here was about three years ago. And uh, we're making our way to a really good ice cream place yeah. over here called mm -hmm. Nora's. We're on our way. Yep. We'll get there. I got one called the Tango, which is this one right here. It is orange with flakes of chocolate in it and control. I think that's how you pronounce it, right? The liqueur. Yes, it is. Uh, and then this is coconut. Oh, wow. There's two flavors. Two flavors. And this is considered one scoop. Yeah, plus they gave you a cone. Mm -hmm. It's like a half a scoop each. It's just straight up pistachio. It's melting. Give you a little spoon, though. But they actually have pieces of pistachio, not almonds. Mm. Very creamy. It doesn't have that artificial pistachio flavor. It's very natural. Very good ice cream. You could tell it's high quality. And look how many pistachios are out in here. A lot. It's like a bag of nuts inside this ice cream. Crazy. The price for our scoops was 10 and some change. 10 and some change. Mm -hmm. it's Worth not... it for ho um, homemade? Oh, Not really homemade. Gourmet, ice cream. I like mm -hmm. ice cream, all right. Yes. Okay, very good. Recommend it. If you ever make it to Bainbridge, check out Norris. Mm -hmm. We made it back from Bainbridge. Yes, update. We checked on flights and they didn't look good. So we're going to spend mm -hmm. our rest of our time here in Seattle. Our flight is at 8.55, so we have until like 7.30 or so, baby, before we have to head back to the Yeah, airport. we have a few hours yeah. here, so we're going to go check out Pike's Market. Yes, it's like 3 or 4 o'clock right now, I think. Something yeah. around there. Yeah. yeah. 
We made it to uh, Pike's Market. Yep, we're walking down the main street now. There's Beecher's Handmade Cheese, which yeah, is oh, yeah. their mac and cheese. Right. And uh, we're gonna go give you guys a shot of the very first Starbucks yeah. ever. Yeah, but right now we're gonna look in the window how they make their cheese. Okay. Some free samples. Yeah, with uh, bleachers. This is their fresh cheese curds. Let's try that one out. Mmm. It tastes like spring cheese. Oh, that's it. There it is. Try this out. This, this is, is their flagship. Flag Not too sharp. I'm not a cheese expert by any means, but it's a good tasting cheese. Very smooth. This is the OG Starbucks here in Pikes Market. It's right here. There's a line to get in. That is it for our visit to Pike. Pike's Place Center. It used to be called Market, but now it's called Center. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Very busy here today. Yeah. If, you, if you're staying around and you want to get some fresh local fruits and veggies, you have to get here before six, five or six o'clock. Yeah, Auto people said to close. Yeah, they're yeah, closing it's almost up. five right now. So. I think only yeah. the restaurants stay open late. Yes. Over here. Yes. Yeah. So we're gonna go walk around now yeah. and find something to eat. Yeah. Before we head back to the airport. Yeah. Famous gum wall. Then we're right underneath that Pike Market sign in the little alleyway. I guess every once in a while the city comes and cleans it all up, but then everyone puts their gum on it again. Alrighty, you know the Ivar's Fish Bar. We're going to eat at their actual restaurant, right. which is called Ivar's Acres of Clams. Yes, right that's here. where we're going to eat dinner before we go. Got the uh, pyramid heaven was it? It's brewed here in Seattle. Oh my god, it's seasonal. Yeah, what's it? Uh, ale, right? Yeah, seasonal. Summer ale. Mm -hmm. Cheers, eh? Oh, the fishing. Oh, it's good. It's good. So, to start off, we got a bunch of appetizers. This one is the first one, it is the uh, chowder trio. So, we the have sampler. The, the sampler. So, this is the regular clam chowder. This is the Northwest Seafood Chowder, and this is a Salmon and Corn Chowder. All right, all three. Northwest Seafood. Yep, digging into this one. Let's try this out, nice and hot. Oh, that's good. Good light seafood taste. The potato is perfect. It's really hot. Oh, I know, It's yeah. very... It's very good. It needs a little bit of pepper though. It does. Very good. Oh, yeah. It's their original clam chowder. Super hot again. He's making me try them all so I can burn my tongue. I know. This is super hot. Huh, baby? Blow on it, babe. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Super hot. Mm. That regular clam chowder. Other than really good clams, it tastes kind of bacony. Oh, it has bacon in it. Mm -hmm. That's why. But you can, it really comes through on the clam chowder and the original. And then here's a salmon one. Take corn in there. There's a piece of salmon here somewhere. Oh, there's a piece of salmon. There it is. Let's try this one. Very good clam chowder. Tastes kind of like a southwestern taste. The salmon is a little bit muted with the soup. You can't really taste the flavor of the salmon. But overall, it's a really good clam chowder. So the big question is, which is your favorite? The clam chowder. Yeah. 
probably the south, the northwestern seafood one. Oh, really? Yeah. So this is it. That's it. I already know which is going to be my favorite. This is the reason why I wanted to eat at this restaurant. You can also this time try to follow it up. A little sourdough. Perfection. Very good. Very good kind of sour. Look at that. Ooh, it's gonna be a good one. Perfectly sourdough bread, clam chowder. They're world famous clam strips. Looks really good, crispy. And we got an order of coconut shrimp with some uh, dipping sauce and the Alaskan halibut fish and chips. Those two are on the happy hour menu. Yes, these are both happy hour menu. And the shrimp. Here's the coconut shrimp. Good piece of the coconut in there. Look at that. My shrimp in there, let's dip it in the sauce, which I think it's just some sort of lime sauce. Oh, it is. Lime. Teeny bit of sweet. Mm, has a little bit of heat to it. It's a really good sauce that matches with this coconut shrimp. Usually coconut shrimp is kind of sweet, isn't mm -hmm. it? But the batter is sweet. You can taste the coconut in the shrimp. You can't really taste the shrimp though, but it's a really good batter. It's a really good, I like it. It's good. Got to go in for some of these clam strips. Of course, put a little bit of tartar sauce on there. Here we go. Mmm. Nice and crunchy. Flavor of the clam is there. Very good clam strips. I like them. Let's see what the inside looks like here. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> see that? See that flake? Look at that. Alaskan cod. It's hot. Yeah, it's cod, not halibut, baby. It's, no, no. Uh, no, you Alaskan, said halibut. Oh, I know, I but you said halibut before. Oh, Alaskan cod. Yeah. Super flaky, moist. I know originally I thought maybe it would be a little bit dry, but totally the opposite. So moist. So Ivar's was amazing, yeah, was like good. usual. Mm -hmm. Now uh, we have less than like 15 minutes to Get catch to our, our, what's it called? The uh, light link. link rail? The link. Yeah, head back to the airport. Yeah. Gotta go. We're walking. Wrapping things up here from Seattle, Washington. Yeah. It was a fun trip. It was filled with handmade pasta, handmade ice cream, it was, uh, um, seafood, and cheese, and right? Yeah. Cheese samples. Hand, handmade cheese, or even house-made cheese. Yeah, it was great. Mm -hmm. it was uh, yeah, so if you're ever in the, the mood for some fresh made, uh, handmade pasta, yeah. that's a great price, $9.95 for a dish. Yes, definitely. And it changes every single time. Right. So it's pretty cool. Gotta get there early. We got there at 10 20 today, so we're the first one. And people started showing up around 10 30. Oh, yeah, the line went yeah. to the end of the block by yeah. the time they opened. Yes, another thing we tried for the first time was the light link rail for three dollars mm -hmm. a person one way. That was such a deal because yeah. it takes you straight where the ferries are, where downtown is. Yeah, so that was a perfect, perfect thing. And it's always on time, so yeah. it's really good. We usually rent a car when we're here in Seattle, mm -hmm. but I think we're gonna start taking this rail, especially it's if we're gonna stay in the city. Yeah, yeah. Anything else, babe? Oh, uh, a viewer. We just ran yes. into another one at the yes, airport. Yes, at the airport. It's from Richland, Washington. Thank you so much for saying hi to us. And we met one at El Cor Corvo. Yes. Right, the El Corvo. Place. Yeah. Thank you so much for saying hi. Yeah. So, and yeah, if you see again. us, come up and say hi, definitely. Very approachable. Yes. Like this one, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, tomorrow? Tomorrow, I want to go fly somewhere tomorrow. We'll see if I can talk this one into flying somewhere tomorrow. I suggested Los Angeles. I can't fly there, baby. We live there. Well, thanks for watching our Seattle adventure. We'll catch you guys on the next one.